Welcome to the Tuesday, September 18th, 2012 edition of Ernerberry's Daily Video, sponsored by the NAMP Meat Buyer's Guide Online. In today's video, shell egg inventories retreat on increased export demand, and later declining prices suggest that one mid-sized crab item may be a more attractive option than others. Now let's look at the markets with your host, Jamie Chadwick. Over the weekend, Seafood.com News took a trip to Atlantic City, New Jersey, where over 25 local seafood restaurants and vendors gathered for the Atlantic City Seafood Festival. The event marked the return of the event that had been on hiatus since 2007, but with sponsors that included Phillips Seafood, visitors to Bader Field were treated to a weekend full of seafood selections ranging from Phillips Signature Crab Cakes to Cajun Fried Alligator. Notable chefs included executive chef for the Army Executive Dining Facility at the Pentagon specialist Brad Turner, New Jersey's Luke Palladino, and Phillips' own Paul Drew all participated in a chef's on-stage event where they prepared signature dishes for festival attendees. Restaurants and vendors were eager to spread the word to consumers about the quality of seafood available up and down the Jersey Shore. Many used the festival as a key marketing strategy to remind customers that quality seafood can be found in restaurants not only throughout the Atlantic City area, but the surrounding tri-state region. For other headline news in the seafood industry, head over to SeafoodNews.com. Now here's Erner Berry Egg Market reporter Brian Moscageri discussing the retreating shell egg inventories as export demand increases. Yesterday's national shell egg inventory was reported by the USDA to be 1,027.5 thousand cases, representing a 5.2% decline from last week's figure, but it remains up 3.5% from the same week last year. Breaking inventory is also down 3%, totaling 253 thousand cases. The total shell egg inventory is 1,280.5 thousand cases, declining 5.1% over last week's total, but up 2.2% over the same week last year. Export demand south of the border continues to tighten supplies here domestically, with over 20 million birds lost to avian influenza in Mexico. Retail demand here in the States is about seasonally average, though buyers tied to the market are taking an aggressive inventory position to hedge against further advances. Liquidity oak is also actively sought in the open market, as seasonal needs prompt buying for domestic users, and export calls being fielded from trading partners both to Mexico and into Europe. Prices in all yield complexes have hit 52-week highs in recent trading sessions as a result. The market is considered firm and is poised to move higher if sellers can continue to raise their asking prices on spot market supplies this week. Thanks, Brian. To wrap up today's video, Seafood.com news writer Michael Ramsing looks at falling crab prices and how buyers may see one particular item as a real value. Surging imports of red king crab to the U.S. have resulted in declining prices in both the red and golden king crab markets. Buyers look to place increased value on 16 and 20 count red king crab as opposed to other sizes within the mid-sized crab realm. According to the U.S. Department of Commerce, U.S. frozen king crab imports in July totaled 2 million pounds, up 72% versus the same time a year ago. Through July 2012, U.S. imports totaled 14 million pounds, up 29% versus the same time last year. Russian exports have led the way, totaling 1.7 million pounds in July, up 81% versus the same time a year ago. Meanwhile, Russian imports totaled 10 million pounds year to date through July, up 21% versus the same time a year ago. Red King crab prices have declined to near two-year lows as imports have increased. According to Ernerberry quotations, the low price for 16-20 count Red King leg and claw was reported at $11.95 per pound, down 20% from the start of 2012 and 10% from a year ago. In fact, this is the lowest reported price since October 2010's $11.75 per pound quote. Furthermore, prices of 16 to 20 counts are nearly $3 per pound cheaper than 14 to 70 count sizes, thus creating a potential opportunity to buyers who can use these sizes interchangeably. For more information on the status of U.S. crab imports and price, head over to Comtel and check out the Import, Export, and Quotation sections under the Seafood tab. Thanks, Michael. That concludes today's video. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Today's video is sponsored by the NAMP Meat Buyer's Guide Online, an interactive way for you to learn and understand more about the items you buy and sell. The NAMP Meat Buyer's Guide Online features high definition videos for all of your major red meat items. Head to meatbuyersguide.com to view a demo and sign up today.